afternoon everyone. I'm truly delighted to welcome everybody to the cow sheds for the celebration of the marriage of Stephen and Lindsay. We're so excited to share this special day with you. Stephen and Lindsay first met in 2005 while they worked at Tesco. Stephen worked in the drinks department and to get to the storeroom he had to pass by the bakery where Lindsay worked. Some your lips A lack of On one trip to the storeroom, he noticed the most beautiful woman he'd ever laid eyes on, with a wonderful smile and cute, sticky-out ears. And he still thinks that today. As cliché as it sounds, for that moment in time, it really did stand still for Stephen, and for him, it was love at first sight. And out of all the things that I dream, only you are not one of them. other today are the beginning of the next wonderful exciting stage of your lives. Lindsay today you have come here to make a promise to share the rest of your life with Stephen. Do you promise to love him, share your life with him, support his hopes and dreams and look after him when he needs looking after? I do. Do you promise to keep him safe and protected as you continue your adventure through life together ensuring it's filled with laughter and compassion. I do. And Stephen, you've come here today to make a promise to share the rest of your life with Lindsay. Do you promise to love her, share your life with her, support her hopes and dreams, and look after her when she needs looking after. I do. Do you promise to keep her safe and protected as you continue your adventure through life together, ensuring it's filled with laughter and compassion? I do. I, Lindsay Susan Langridge. I, Lindsay Susan Langridge. Take you, Stephen James McTeer. Take you, Stephen James McTeer. As my husband and best friend. As my husband and best friend. I offer you this ring. I offer you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. I accept you as you are. I accept you as you are. Loving who you are now. Loving who you are now. And who you are yet to become. Who you are yet to become. I, Stephen James McTeer. To you, Lindsay Susan Langridge. To you, Lindsay Susan Langridge. As my wife and best friend. As my wife and best friend. I offer you this ring. I offer you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. I accept you as you are. I accept you as you are. Loving who you are now. Loving who you are now. And who you are yet to become. And who you are yet to become. 
Stephen and Lindsay, you have both made a solemn and binding promise, and by virtue of these declarations, made in my presence and in the presence of your witnesses and guests, it gives me the greatest of pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You can kiss your wife. to be able to say the words, I'm the extremely proud father of the bride. She has often said that she doesn't like to be the centre of attention, but I'm afraid there's going to be no exception today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm sure you would like to agree that Lindsay looks absolutely stunning and would ask you all to please be upstanding and raise a toast to the beautiful and loving and very talented bride, Lindsay. Lindsay. Thank you. To mum, I'm sorry I was making you angry. It's just because I'm really, really tired. I love you. Love, Lindsay. <laughs> P.S. I hope you can read this because you've had a few glasses of wine tonight. <laughs> I think it's fair to say he must have felt comfortable from very early, allowing Linda to wash him down while standing in his underpants. <laughs> Poor boy had been very unwell. Stephen, we are delighted that you are now our son-in-law. Have no doubts in looking after our daughter. Never lose sight of caring and respect for each other. And have patience. If you need any advice on that, to speak to Linda. <laughs> She's become an expert over the last 44 years. So could I just ask all the guests to join us and raise a glass to the new Mr and Mrs McTeer. happy to say that finally after 13 years, 10 months, 2 days, about 18 hours, that on behalf of my first wife and I, <laughs> we, welcome, we welcome you to our wedding day. Now this celebration is as a, as a result of the time I go down on one knee 
and then both knees and ask that big important question. I remember feeling really nervous, couldn't stop shaking. I remember thinking, I just need to ask, Jim, can you pay for this wedding? <laughs> <laughs> You've always been there to offer advice and a helping hand and it's, it's my pleasure to call you both my, my in-laws. And also, thank you very much for raising such a beautiful, funny, intelligent daughter. She's really gained the best of the both of you, and I promise that I would love and protect her, your wonderful daughter, for the rest of my life. Today would not have turned out the way it has without my wonderful wife. She is such a relentlessly hard worker. Even on top of her demanding job as a primary school teacher, she would always find time to make sure I'm going through her to-do list. <laughs> I'm sure we can all agree how stunning Lindsay looks today. I really wasn't prepared for how perfect you looked walking down the aisle today. And I can say thank you for, for marrying me and making the proudest, proudest man in the world. I cannot wait to see where our adventure together continues. I've had the best time of my life with you and I can now proudly call you my wife. I asked Lindsay to describe him for me. She said romantic, which is fine. She also said that he was thoughtful and he's also very funny, according to Lindsay. <laughs> I've got absolutely nothing on that. I've got no funny stories whatsoever. We could be a gone fire Oh, that you know the baby Be around us 